Hey guys! Today is gonna be a sit down talking kind of video while I do my makeup so you guys can do your makeup with me or grab a snack and just listen because I talk so much. So if you want to see how I got this look, keep watching. God, hi guys! I'm back with a regular video, not a vlog. I'm starting off with moisturizer by the way. So I've been gone and that's not really like surprising because i always disappear but the last video you guys saw of me it was my birthday vlog may 16th it's now september 6th before that the last video was like vlogmas or something vlogmas was so fun like it made me really realize like i love youtube i love recording stuff i go back and watch those videos all the time and i always liked recording stuff and vlogging stuff like before i knew what vlogging was before youtube was a thing i was vlogging on my little computer but my memory's so bad i just need to record i just feel like i need to record everything maybelline new york master primer oh yeah like i've been stifled with my creation and content creation recently i'll get to that in a second why but first i want to update y'all of what happened after vlogmas orange color corrector so january 2022 hits right and i'm like optimistic and basically i had like a new hope a new optimism for life kind of naive because i don't see how the next year can make like i get that we have new year's resolutions but i just really don't believe in that like if you want to change something about yourself or your life do it now new year's optimism like that new year's optimism everybody feels i guess where that, that's where people get new year's resolutions from and i was like yeah i'm gonna get my life together for real i'm gonna move out soon so i got my security license in january like but i also fell i was out at the park one day and i fell real hard on my back and i bumped my head and everything off i was cut up bruised but i was fine i thought a week later in my lower back getting s such bad pain near where i fell and i was like oh god i didn't think at the time it had anything to do with me falling but i went to the doctor because it was to the point where i couldn't walk and she was like oh yeah like did did you fall recently and i was like yep and she was like yep that's it it was an infection by the way in my lower back by the time she prescribed me antibiotics it was too late like the infection got so bad i couldn't walk i was in bed for like a week and a half or something in such bad pain i couldn't get up to pee the bathroom is a second down the hall and it took me like five minutes to walk to the bathroom because of how much pain i was in l'oreal paris true match lumi the shade is nut brown slash cocoa I can't tell you guys exactly what I had because I don't want my business out there. Like maybe one day I'll say what exactly it was, but I decided to go to the hospital. I had to get an IND, incision and drainage, and that was the most painful thing I've ever experienced in my they life. They gave me morphine, which barely helped the pain. All it made me do was like feel like I was being dragged down. That was my first time being on anything stronger than like naproxen they put it through my iv it hit me instantly i was like whoa i'm high i wasn't really high i was just like my body felt funny I had an incision and drainage before and i know how painful it is so i was like y'all need to put me to sleep so there was a doctor coming and saying yeah we're gonna get that for you we're gonna get that for you the surgeon comes and he's like oh no nah. so yeah they lied they put me on more drugs and they cut me open right there when i say i was screaming and hollering the surgeon had the nerve during the incision and drainage to come around the bed and say there's other patients in here you can't be screaming like that when i say i was so livid hold your dumb ass to put me to sleep with me now oh you can't be screaming like that because there's other patients in here oh i'm in pain this is a hospital yeah, basically after that i had to recover for like a week or yeah to this day i can't like it hurts to sit down Too Faced born this way concealer in the shade very deep and la pro girl concealer in the shade 
cool tan. I may need to get surgery because it's an ongoing like chronic kind of thing. So it has come back like twice or three times now. And I'm constantly in pain in my lower back. But I can't find a surgeon who does it the way I want to. Depending on who's doing it and how they do it, the surgeon, I could be recovering for months. Like the range, I could be recovering from less than a day to months and months. That's how invasive it could get. Yeah, that's my little story, my little update. So after I recovered, I went and got a job at the gas station. I'm not gonna say which chain of gas stations, but it had to be like probably the worst job I ever had in my life. Not because of the job itself, but because of the people I worked with. I stayed there way longer than I should have because I thought I would be a failure if I quit because already people was telling me that oh you need to get a job you need to get a job one thing about me i'll never stay anywhere that is not good for my mental health not a relationship not school not a job like people telling me i'm lazy and whatever they wanted to call me and plus i'm young i still have options nyx so. professional precision brow pencil um i was planning on staying at that job till i started school in august but towards the end of May, I, like my mental was starting, I could feel it starting to crack. I was literally having mental breakdowns on the way to work. I just told them, hey, I'm not coming back. And I will say, I did get something out of that job, which was me starting to listen to my brain and my body. And instead of forcing myself to do certain things because it's what people expect of me, that just because something is working for somebody else, doesn't mean it's gonna work for me like i need to learn what my mental and my body can handle and not go based off of what other people are saying i should be able to handle because everyone's different not everybody can handle certain things and that's okay and i'm tired of people calling me weak lazy sensitive or whatever because i can't handle certain things so after I quit, instead of going right on Indeed and looking for another job, I started doing research on mental health and things like that and trying to basically figure out like, what's wrong with me. Not what's wrong with me, but why? Like, why can't I be like everybody else and just stick with a job even if I hate the job? Like, I always see people going into work like, oh. I don't want to be here i can't do it. how can I, how come i can't be one of those people who complain but still do it like they still go to work they still do their job and then they just come home and be like oh that was annoying and go about their day why does it take over me to the point where i can't do it at all like i can't and then it starts to make me not be able to do other things that i should normally be able to do that have nothing to do with the job so I started re doing my research. I come up with a few things I'm not gonna say because first of all, I'm not a mental health YouTuber and I don't want any labels on me like diagnoses. I have figured out that certain diagnoses, I have the symptoms or traits of because I was seeing a therapist, but I didn't get far enough to get a diagnosis besides generalized anxiety any other diagnosis would be me making a very educated guess based off of my months of research and years of being in my own brain and body but in order to not offend anybody and also to protect my mental health from people who would say oh you don't have that oh you're not that oh you're not this I'm not gonna say anything. Yeah, based on the research I've done about my mental health, I've, I've been learning my own brain and learning that instead of trying to change myself or mold my brain into how everyone else thinks it should be working, I'm gonna learn my brain and then act accordingly. Giving myself the breaks that I need. I'm not forcing myself to have a job, especially because I have parents that support me. 
support me and keep a roof over my head while I figure out what I want to do with myself. NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. So anyway, in that time that I took my little break, after my birthday it's now september and i'm finally just now i'm getting out of a burnout so i got a job and insecurity which is what i should have done in the first place like i got my security license and then went and worked at a gas station why why i finally got a job in security now and i love it um it's easy and it's good decent money and I'm not burning myself out trying to work full-time I'm just working a few days a week and all this so I can save up while I wait for school to start in January I know I said August but I was late to sign up like I waited too long don't judge me hurry I'm going to technical college I've decided on what I'm going to school for and what I'm doing about school. And I'm not gonna tell you guys exactly what I'm going to school for, but it's in the medical field. And I, based on my research about myself and about that skill or career, I've decided that it sh it's for me and it'll do for now. And eventually I get to work from home, which is exactly what my brain needs. So again, going along with trying to learn my brain and act accordingly instead of bending and molding it into a shape that it doesn't go that it just doesn't go i realize i cannot work in any type of like public setting or anything like that like i just get overwhelmed i get overstimulated and i don't like dealing with people every day it's just what would be best for me la pro girl concealer highlighter and then I get to go to community college. No, I'm not gonna plan too far ahead with my life because I have a bad habit of doing that and getting overwhelmed, but who knows? Maybe I might get a bachelor's or whatever, or master's or doctorates later down the line, but that's years and years away, so I'm not gonna stress myself out about that right now. I'm only 20 years old. Two? Oh. So yeah, another thing that is the reason I haven't been posting on YouTube and why my mental health is doing so bad is because of again i'm s like i still don't have my own room that's seriously like impacting my mental health really really bad to the point where i cannot function living where i'm living right now like i can't it's very 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 hard for me to do anything like i'm really struggling here it's because i don't have my own space i share a room with my sister right now she's not here right now which is why i'm able to do even do this video she is at work but it's really hard not having my own space i really need my things like my physical things to be in order like my clothes and stuff in order to function like even when i had my own room if my room wasn't in order if it was a mess and i had plans to go somewhere i would cancel those plans because of how dysfunctioned and unorganized my brain would feel like my mood and mental is directly impacted based on how my living space looks and how clean it is i just would like shut down if i felt like it was disorganized or not clean so that's how i've been for months now like i'm sh i'm in like extreme shutdown and burnout because my living space is just a complete mess and I can't handle it with that being said we're I think we're moving um, very soon and just like a couple of years ago when I vlogged us myself like moving into my new room and us moving into the new house like, I, I'm up day and night thinking about like my own room I have lists on Amazon and notes in my phone about it like I'm I'm hyper fixated on having a room right now. It's like I eat, sleep, and breathe having my own room. Like I'm literally just consumed with wanting my own room. But until then, I'm just gonna work and save up my money so that I can be able to actually afford the things I want in that room. Now, the only things that's been keeping me sane is like 
going out with my boyfriend and I don't know, Netflix and stuff. So how are you guys doing? Good. Tell me in the comments. I learned that like I have really pretty bad executive dysfunction. You guys should look that up. It's it's often mistaken for laziness. I've been called lazy my whole life. It's, it's something I can't help, but I'm working on. And it's okay for me to do things in my own time within reason as long as I'm not hurting anybody. Yeah, I'm really just trying to focus on like rebuilding my passions and the things that I like to do like YouTube and makeup and hair and like building my life around that because these are things that make me happy and if you can't be happy then what's the point of being here? The Chocolates by Juvia. I have no friends. All the friends I had, they we either don't talk anymore or they moved away. I really just be hanging out with my boyfriend and that's cool and all. Like, I love him, but <laughs> I could use some friends, you know? But that's okay because my life isn't set up for friends right now. Juvia's placed setting powder in Gobi and Maybelline Mineral powder finishing translucent yeah guys i can't promise i'll be back for good this time because i don't i still don't have a space of my own and i really do need that to function like really badly but whatever guys i'm just like i'm just trying to get cute for today i think it's coming out it's coming together in person it doesn't look like it on camera but it's it looks good in person I'm using sundown to brush the powder off my face. Guys, what I, what do you want to see? Like, especially when I get my own room and set up and everything, what do you guys want to see? I know I don't have a lot of people watching my videos anymore, but I don't care. Like, the 100 of you that watch, y'all can, like, comment stuff y'all want to see or whatever. Like, I still want to interact with the little bit of y'all that watch my videos, the 100 or whatever. That's a lot of people to me. 100 people looking at my stuff like i got social anxiety so just two people listening to me talk makes me want to like pass out like do like i just pick, sometimes i use eyeshadow shadow sometimes i use concealer like dark concealer i don't do <sighs> contour has never been my strong point in makeup I'm doing it in like little clusters lashes these are my birthday lashes guys let's try to do some glossy lids i'm gonna use just vaseline because i want to try that so bad i probably should have did this after i put on my lashes because i don't know if the glue will stick now glossy lids period also, lip liner is Kiss New York Luxury Eyeliner 108BOK1. They are not staying, guys. I knew it. My, my sister did my braids, guys. She's a braider. So if you if you live in like the South Florida area, come get your braids done by her, period. I hope you guys like the makeup. It's my dog, Cookie, guys. Say bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs> Anyways, pray for me. If you guys like the video, give it a like. If you dislike it, give it a dislike. And if you want to see more videos with me in it, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video.